Hello ladies, this is Stacy with Stacy's Crafty Jam and I'm back to decorate this really cute little paper bag journal. And uh, I had mentioned in, uh, you know, welcome guys. Why do I always forget to say that? I um, I, I do love y'all. Love you for coming and, and being with me tonight. Or today. where Whatever it is. For you, it's tonight for me. But I had mentioned in the prior video when I, you know, was making this about making, you know, a, a bag, you know, to put, put to the journal in. So I just wanted to say that again. I, I didn't take the time to cover this up, but all you would do is glue your two little flaps on the bottom of your paper sack, and it creates, um, you know, a little, a little place for, uh, you know, for tags or for whatever. And then you you set the journal in. Uh, let me get all this stuff out of the way. And then you set the journal inside. You know. And so you know you may you may want to consider doing that. It's it's a cute little thing. And I may end up doing that. But for now, I did want to get on and uh, let's decorate. Y'all notice I did some sewing on it. I like my sewing. I had purple in the machine because I just got through making a lavender journal. And how perfect is that? turned out really lovely. I like the way the purple pops on the page. And then, you know, look at the sewing on that back end there. That looks good. And on the back end here, looks good. So, uh, let's let's start with, let's just start with the cover. And uh, what I did is I fussy cut one of the little, uh, this is on one of the little journal pages. And I, um, I, just, I just fussy cut it off. I just think it's as cute as it can be. I'm using a Romantica Arts Digi, and uh, the name escapes me, but I'll put the link uh, down below. <laughs> How about that? I know it's Easter something. Yeah. Maybe it's Easter bunnies. I don't know. Oh, Stacy now. But um, anyway, it's a really cute little, um, little Digi, and uh, if you're a member of Haystack's uh, Crafty Corner, you'll find other opportunities for Romantica Arts Digis there. And I'll mention we're doing a really cool giveaway this month for a ephemera pack uh, that is going to be put together by our team. And I'm on the team there, you see. So I'm putting together, and I think some of our other team members are going to put together um, uh, an ephemera pack that we're going to give away, and all you got to do is make a project, any project. It could be a tag, a card, it could be a journal like this, uh, you know, whatever. Make it and use Romantica Arts Digi, and um, and then make take a picture and post it, and you're in. And you can make two tags, two journal cards, you can make uh, a, a, um, a journal... And I'm pinking with green. I mean pink too. I think that'll be pretty. Um, you could make a journal and then your tags to go in it. Uh, you could, and then that would be all be separate. You know, post it separately, and you can enter more than once. Is all I'm saying. So uh, you know, the sky's the limit on that. Y'all just go to town and and have some creative fun with Romantica Arts Digis. You know, oh how cute is that? I like it. And I'm going to back this on some cheesecloth. I have hand dyed cheesecloth from the very talented haystackcreations.com and I'll put that link down below too because she's got every color in like the rainbow almost, you know. And um, I happen to have all of these beautiful pastel colors and I was thinking that I would back this on pink and the baby blue and look how it will pop on this page. I think it's going to look real good. And um, you know, add a little a little depth and a little um, you know, just you know, some shabbiness to it. I, I love a shabby feel. You know, vintage and shabby. Can't get better than that. And, um, but I'm going to back this on pink cheesecloth and we'll trim it 
and uh, then I'll get it stringy because you know we gotta have our strings it's gonna be beautiful I'm having a good time with this little with this little digi here it's cute it's got bunnies and chicks and it's got Easter eggs and uh, it's got a you know a little Easter basket it's got flowers it's got it all and then there it comes with tags and envelopes and pockets and everything so you know everything you need you know to create a, a cute 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 little project you know and um, yeah I think I think you'll love it if, if I if Stacy now can remember the name gosh good gosh but I but I, I promise I'll, I'll put it in the in the in the description for you and um, but wrote Alejandra from uh, that's the designer from um, uh, Romantica Arts uh, is so gracious and so good to Haystack uh, Crafty Corner and um, she lets us put um, purchase digis in our files so we're really blessed to to have her in there so we wanted to showcase her this month and, and you know just show off about her because she's really talented and she's got some precious stuff and um, so y'all check her out I'll put of course her link is going to be down below too now check out the way this pink and look at this I don't know does the blue come across on the I think it's coming across look how pretty it is get this out of my way oh goodness it is gorgeous good job Tabitha she's good at hand dyeing this stuff you know, a lot of they, a lot of places you see, you know, they're reselling it. You know, um, they'll, you know, they're buying it that way. But this is real cheesecloth, and she's got it in two different grades, and uh, in all of these hand dyed, unique colors, you uh, you just can't beat her. You know, and uh, like I said, I'll put her link, her put her link down below too. All right. Okay, but let's see how beautiful this is. I think it's going to be gorgeous. The pink on the blue. It is, it is. Look at that. And wait till you see it on the page. Oh, I think it's just going to sing and pop. It's going to be amazing. And we'll, we'll get this trimmed up here. Oh, and then I've got some other plans for the inside of this little paper bag journal and we'll check that out I made a little a little sack you know I think I told y'all in the last video I was gonna make a little you know use a little paper bag a little tiny one as um, you know like because it's made out of a paper bag the journal is or the cover and then how precious, oh, everything's sticking to me because i got fabric tack everywhere. Um, how precious is, um, you know, a, a, a pocket made out of a sack for a paper bag journal. Yeah, why not? That's a, I don't know. I think that's a great idea. And I don't know. I come across a few every once in a while. Okay. See, I love the strings. It's a looking good. Nice and shabby. Perfect. Now, let's check it out on this page. Oh, I'm getting my mat all wet. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, it's a mess. I'll clean it. Look. La, 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 la. It is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I love it. I'm going to put her, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to put her about right there. And I have these little Easter eggs that I cut out from the pages on the kit. Because the, the the pages have little little cute elements, you know, in them. And I just fussy cut those out. And, um, you know, you work with what you have. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right. All right, all right, all right. I was going to put, I think, I, I don't know, I still might put some lace on this on the binding I mean on this you know on the spine I might have bite and 
since I'm going to do that, let me trim this up a little bit. Because I, I, I could reach over here and get me some, get me some lace. And, um, put that on, let me just see. Oh, I just love the pink and the, I don't know if it comes across on the, on the camera, guys, but it really is lovely. Um, here's my little Easter eggs. And I'm going to see what they might look like on the bottom. That one blends in. But I like this. I like the blue one. Ooh, let me see that green one. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to like that. And maybe put these around in little, in little, in little places. What do y'all think? I'm thinking, I like, I like. Maybe I do. And let me see about this one. Yeah, I think I like that down around the bottom there. What if I moved my little bunny up a little bit? Come here. She's not dry yet. Let's move her up. Yeah. Honey buns, you sit right there and move up a little bit for me. And I'm gonna cut this a little bit more. Yep, I do. Yep, there we go. And then let's ink. Let's ink these. Oh, look at that cheese cloth all over my fingers. <laughs> um, let's just ink them in some brown. I think they'll stand out a little better if we ink them in brown. And. Um, we'll lay these little Easter eggs down, too. And then I've got a little word. I don't know. You can probably see it over here. It says, always and forever. And it's just some words I had. And I liked the font. And I liked the little, the little label part. So, I thought I'd use that on the front here. I don't know. I'm thinking I like it. And, um, but this, I, I said, like I said, you know, I just, I did the first video constructing this, this little cute, you know, easy, easy, simple, simple little journal. And, but I told you I'd come back and we decorate together. So here we are. And, but, you know, you can, if you're making this project, you can use you know any any set of papers that you have you know you don't necessarily have to use any particular thing uh maybe you don't want to do an easter one maybe you want to do you know i don't know one with lizards on it i don't know just you know do your thing you do you and um yeah that's that's the fun part about about making these projects like this they can be adapted, however, using whatever, you know, whatever you got. And, um, and then maybe you, maybe you just don't even have a digi, maybe a digi, I can't talk. Maybe you don't have a digi, maybe you just have coffee dye in a sack. Well, there you go. There you go. That's all you need. Seriously. All right. I'm going to... Where do I want to put that one? I'm going to put that one next over here. I like my little Easter eggs. They're cutie. All right. And they just kind of sit at the bottom here. That's good. And then let's cut this word. Or phrase, I guess, is a better way to put it. And we'll, um, I don't know, should I back this with something? Let's just see what it looks like down first. And then we'll decide 
If I'm backing this with something, you know. Ooh, I just had a great idea. I'll have to find it. It's over here. But, yep, let me, let me look. It's over here somewhere. Ooh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Where, where are you tonight? Let me see this. No, that's not going to work. Okay, what if I used this purple lace? Let's look at that. I don't know if it's going to stand out or not. Can't pick this up. I don't think it's going to stand out enough. Nope. But this one would. Check this out. I wonder if I used this. Woo! I like that. And I put that right on top. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yes, yes, yes. I like it. Okay. And I did, when I did my sewing, I left, I only sewed around like a, a, like a horseshoe shape. I only sewed around here, like that. So I left uh, the top open so that we can have pockets. But you can, if you're not sewing, you can glue it that way. And if you're, if you don't want the pockets, you can uh, glue it or sew it all the way around. You know, totally maker's choice, you know. And I love that, that purple lace. That, that really pops. Yeah, I pull out a bunch of stuff. I've told you this before. Pull out a bunch of stuff, and then if I use it, I use it. And if I don't, then I put it up. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me, let me lay this down. Okay. And then that's going on here. Like a so. Yeah. So I need to trim that off a little bit. Okay. I love this color of lace. It's pretty. Oh, it is very pretty. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to bring it this way. That looks good. That looks very good. Now let's go in and go to the inside. I like it. I like my little cover. Simple, simple, but good to go. All right. Then I'm, I did do this before we came on. And this is a pocket that ephemera can fit in. And then this is a pocket. See, I cut the little notch. The notch was actually here. But I folded the sack over like so. The little tiny sack. I folded the little bottom up. And I created a pocket here. And then this is the actual sack part. But I went ahead and cut a notch with my little... My little, you know, thinger. A little hole punch. Circle punch, yeah. And well, I used a one and a half inch. And since this is already a, um, you know, it's got a pocket on the inside there, I'm going to glue the whole thing down. But you could create yet another pocket with something like this. You could do a pocket in the back, a pocket in the center, and a pocket on the front. And all I'm doing is gluing this down just like that. So see how fun that is? Because now it's... Let me see, I got a little tag here. Now it's a pocket here, and you got a pocket in here. And then this is a gusseted like pocket. So I mean, you know, some pretty pretty thick stuff will fit in there, you know? And let me cut my little strings. My little sew strings. Alright, and then on the journal part, this is my journal. On the journal part, I cut out this bird. Isn't this cute? And I want to use this lace. And I want to use this cheesecloth. And I just need to decide in what order. 
So let's ink up our bird while I while I decide. We'll ink it up in some brown. And I again I cut this little bird uh, out of off of one of the the pages because the little journal pages have lots of cute little little images on them, you know. So I just use those like as if they were my fussy cuts, you know. I gotta be careful with these little these little claws because I don't want to hurt them. I'm a rough inker. <laughs> Gotta be careful here, Stacy. All right. Oh, this is just too cute. All right. Oopsie. Be careful, Stacy. Okay. It looks good in the neighborhood. Okay. So there's that. And then, how do I want to do this? Do I want to do the bird on the lace? And the cheesecloth behind it? Let's see. Alright, do I like that on that? I think I want the cheesecloth on top of the lace. Decision made. So, let's... Let's glue our cheesecloth to our bird. It didn't take a lot of glue because I'm just going to glue like that. And that'll be... Let's do it right there. Alrighty, buddy. And then... Let's, um, let's trim this up. little beaks trying to come through them through the cheesy cloth there we go oh this is going to be a cute little project um you know what I could give it to my daughter for Easter what about that last year I made her a little I used a paper sack again, but I made her like a little mini journal thing, and um, she still has it on her buffet. It it makes me proud, honestly it does. Okay, and then let's get our strings. I don't know. Do y'all use your poker tool for everything? Lord knows I do. I use it for everything. Everything and then some. Okay. Awesome sauce. And I still haven't decided if I'm going to do dangles on those little strings from the from the pamphlet stitch, or if I'm going to tie a boat. And decide. I'll get there. Okay. Then the lace. And then let's. Which side? There, I think it's that side. And then let's... Oh, see? Ooh, yeah, yeah. And... Yeah. Let's lay that down there. Yep. Okay. And then let's trim around this. I'm just doing a little curvy thing there. I'm going to do it again down here. Yep. And then here, I don't want to do this. Do this. Yep, I think I like that. Alright. 
that's perfect actually might need a little little trim over here I don't like that little corner there okay I don't know it's the details right we've said that before all right and then we'll glue this down and then our little the little cover to this little cute journal on the inside here is a done deal I think that's enough glue and we'll lay this down and it'll be a really nice little little touch when they open them when they open it awesome sauce awesome Ah, uh, that is precious. Precious, precious, precious. It's kind of overtaking my Easter up here. I'm going to cut that a little bit. And give her a little, give her a little trim. Yep. So I want you to see that little word. All right. That looks really good. I like it, like it, like it. All right. And then on this back, on the back here, I have, this was, um, this was a pocket. But the pocket's too big. So, let's ink it in pink. I cut it, I cut the little pretty part out, the little row of bunnies. And... Um, I just I just cut the pretty part of the pocket, you know, out, and um, I just took what I wanted and left the rest. Let's uh, let's cut a notch. Let's cut a little notch, not a deep one. Let me find my center. I don't want to mess this up. find my center. I'm bad with trying to find centers, guys. Alright. I even made a mark on the inside of my inside of my little puncher here, my a circle punch, so that I would know where my centers are. There we go. That looks good. Alright. Oops. Uh, I like the pink on this paper. Here we go. I was watching Stephanie Davis, and she's a friend of mine from uh, Haystack's Crafty Corner. And she, I don't have enough daubers to, to cover all of the colors of my ink. And she was using these little daubers that she got at Dollar Tree. And I was like, hey, what a genius. So I went and got some. You get like four or five in them for a dollar twenty-five, and um, they work really well. Good job, Stephanie. Here I am paying them. I don't know, small fortune for those little fancy wooden handle ones. You know that with the removable, with the Velcro little thingies, and those are great, and I have them. But, yeah, it's getting a little costly, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm putting my pocket down. And then, voila, voila, voila. And then there is my pocket. Da -da. We're looking good. And then, I have this little word. And it says, I love you, past the moon. And I'd gotten these words on some public domain thing on Google. And I was like, hey, I just I just searched junk genre words and phrases and found this. I was like, hey, this is a 
this is a good deal. E. Because they're in cute little fonts. Not all of them. I'll be honest. Not all of them are great. You have to, you know, you, they're far and few between on them, really. But those that are, hey, it's worth it, you know. I'm going to ink this in brown. So I want it to, I want it to pop. And I'm going to put that along the bottom of my pocket. And then the inside of the little journal part. We're going to look at that next. Because I've got I got an idea. Because I had to make this, I had to cut my journal pages down from this kit. You know, they're a little smaller than the actual um, you know, size that, that that they were supposed to be printed in, you know. So therefore, the pockets are not necessarily Oh, uh, I like it. Yay. Alright, so the pockets are not they're not really fitting the pockets that come with this kit. But 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 here's cards that see how pretty these cards are? They're just little cards. And uh, that are you know for the envelopes or what did I do with my scissors? There they are. And but here let me show you what I'm gonna do. I I cut it along this side. Right there. I cut it I cut it there, obviously. And then I kinda eyeball it and I do about a half inch, you know, and it doesn't it's getting glued down, so it don't have to be, you know, the straightest thing on the planet. And then I'm doing that all the way, all the way around. If it's not a half inch, it's okay, you know. I'm doing that all the way around. So that's pretty straight. Not bad, Stacy. Not bad. And then... I cut a little angle, and then cut a little angle, and then I go from I cut a, I cut a little a little triangle there, sort of like that. See, and I do it again here. Voila! And then I have taken this card, and I have made a little gusseted pocket. Let's see how it works. I don't know. I've never, I've done it, I think, before. I just don't, it's been a while. So, but when I was, I might could have cut a little bit more. I mean, left a little more over here. But it's enough. It's enough to give me a little, a little extra, you know. In my, it'll be enough to do what I want to do. Let me show you when I get through Poland. I'm pretty sure it will be anyway. I hope so. Eh. Watch me mess this up right here on the video. But hey, what's new in Stacy's world, you know? Okay. I'll figure out something else. It's no mistake. It'll be okay. Okay. Oh, look, it worked out good. Except, I can see just a little, that little piece is driving me bonkers. That little piece is driving me bonkers. That's going to drive me bonkers. Aha! It looks great! And then this is going to be a pocket here. But it has a little... I, now, I could have just cut a square and laid it down like I did this back one, okay? But I thought, why? Why not, why not try to give myself a little grace? I'm going to ink and pink. I like saying that. Um, 
But why not give myself, because, I, man, I, I am so big about decorating my, my tags. <laughs> I, I like to decorate tags, man. And I'm a, I mean, I like to put cheesecloth on there and lace and buttons and, you know, I layer them up, you know. So, then they won't fit in a flat pocket like that, you know. So, if I leave these little gusset things, then, then, hey, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm finding my center. Because I don't. I don't trust myself. And, where is it? There it is. And I'm going to cut just a little tiny notch. Just, it's not a deep one. And, so that, you know, everybody knows there's a pocket. Well, you're going to know it's a pocket, because it's going to have stuff in it. Oh, that pink looks pretty on there. Okay. So, hey, let's glue this thing down. And I'm going to do the same with this one. But do I want this one? I'm going to put one on the inside and one on the back. So, let's look. Let's look, 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 look. Do I want that one there? It, it's not going to matter. Is it? I don't think. I'm, I will do that one there. We'll do this one on the back. And then all we do is glue down the little gusset parts. And um, it's that easy. Just make your own gussets, you know, if they don't have them. It's easy enough. But, again, you could just cut a square thing there, you know. And it'd be simple, simple. It's no big deal. That's a pocket, too. But, like I said, Stacy needs the needs the cushion for extra extra stuff in her that she's putting in. Yeah. So that's cutie. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close up this glue so it don't clog up on me. Okay. So here we go. Doing it again. I think I'm gonna give myself a little more room this time. 